Hello, my name is Riley Falls and I am in the seventh grade. Our next song will be The Great Locomotive Chase. In the early years of the Civil War, Georgia was largely protected from the military hostilities, leaving it free to ship arms, munitions, food, and other supplies to the Confederate troops on battlefields to the Northeast. These uninterrupted supply lines gave the Confederacy a considerable tactical advantage. The importance of these supply lines prompted James Andrews, a Union spy from Kentucky, to attempt a daring effort to disrupt the 138-mile line connecting Atlanta to Chattanooga. With 19 Union soldiers dressed as civilians, Andrews boarded a train in Marietta pulled by the wood-burning locomotive, the General. At Big Shanty, Andrews and his men managed to separate the General and three cars from the rest of the train with the aim of destroying as many bridges and rails as possible on the route. The General's conductor, with the aid of Confederate soldiers, commandeered the locomotive Texas and gave chase. This event was later characterized as the boldest adventure of the war. Keep this quote in mind as you listen. Thus we sped on, mile after mile, in this fearful chase, around curves and past stations and seemingly endless perspective. Whenever we lost sight of the enemy beyond a curve, we hoped that some of our obstructions had been effective in throwing him from the track and that we would see him no more. But at each long backward, this out of all reach backward, the smoke was seen again, and the shrill whistle was like the scream of a bird of prey. Enjoy. There's one more person I neglected to thank, and I want to make sure I thank them. Uh, Mr. Scott, Bob, Scott Baldwin does a lot for us. He comes and teaches our percussionists. He finds whistles that I forget in my backpack in the middle of a concert and gets them on the stage with the help of some others. And he is also providing his expert cymbal and bass drum playing for us tonight. So thank you, Mr. Scott Baldwin, for everything you did.